Hey guys, this is Gajanand Rathor from Tech Rudranshi and today I will teach you PHP pagination. So let's see a quick demo to understand PHP pagination. So these are the posts that's coming from uh, PHP my admin, uh, which is a database and these are the controls we can control we can navigate to a specific pages we can uh, do a next and previous pages and when you previous uh, it will automatically nav navigate to an another page so to do that we need to create a, a project i am using netbean and creating a php application so next and here you need to give your project name my project name is php paginations and after we need to finish it so it will automatically create a index.php file for me so here is the index.php file so let's remove some unnecessary comment and unnecessary code uh, from this file so let's remove this or php tag as well so here we will write our php uh, code uh, so uh, first we need to run the, that project so localhost in our project name so uh, at this time it's empty so let's uh, h1 heading level 1 and put it hello page, php pagination something like that and let's refresh and it will show some small content uh, like a hello pagination and its page title is php pagination you can give any page title to this page so next thing what we will do uh, next thing we need to create a, a db file uh, for a database connection so i am giving a db uh, this is the class file so i am create uh, i am giving its name as a capital letter uh, so it's a uh, let's first uh, create a php tag uh, this is the opening tag and it's a class so the class name is a db and here uh, we will write some property to connect a database uh, to our php admin so it's a pri private property i am creating uh, first is server name and i am using a server name which is a local host local host and then next property uh, is also a private but uh, uh, its property is a username of our db that's username is always our localhost is username is root and then again a private pro property and it's a database password so localhost uh, by default its password is a uh, empty so i'm giving empty password and db name and db name uh, at this time we don't have a db so first we need to create a db in php my admin so let's reset and new and here you can give any name of your database i am giving a php pagination or uh, you can give uh, any name to this database copy this php pagination and paste it here so we have uh, done some properties and then we need to create a constructor to this class uh, so it's a more uh, friend uh, uh, more uh, good practice uh, to start the session and some uh, more um, I think uh, more good ideas so let's uh, create a session inside a constructor and then we need to create a new method inside this DB class and its method name is also a DB and here I will create a object of MySQL I so, uh, so the connection and new connection and MySQL I m y s q l i mysql and it will take some parameters uh, 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 it means uh, it, uh, it takes a server name user uh, username password and db name of the database so first parameter is server name second is the username and third one is the password of the db and last one is is the uh, db name and it will uh, we have uh, created the object object of uh, uh, php my uh, uh, i mean just mysql i so next thing we need to uh, just uh, put it if and else condition uh, to detect the problem if your uh, database connection is not connected to a db it will show some error message uh, uh, to call this uh, property of uh, mysql i which is a connect error and it will stop it will tie 
the connection uh, from database so connection uh, has been failed so it will show a message if have a problem to connect a database so just uh, concatenate the connection and the connection uh, error and if connection is uh, nice and it's connected we can return uh, the connection uh, which is this connection object uh, through this uh, DB method so uh, it's a pretty much it we have done uh, the connection uh, using this DB uh, class uh, db.php uh, this file uh, so now we need to link that file db.php inside the index.php so we will write a code uh, inside index.php so top of this page uh, first create a php tag so php opening and closing tag and then uh, include that file which we have created uh, that's name is a db.php so include db and db.php and then we need to create object of db uh, class so new db db means a database <coughs> And uh, just store this. Uh, 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 just just call the DB method of the database uh, uh, class DB class and call the DB method and store inside a connection. So all the uh, properties and the connection are stored in this uh, CONN uh, variable. So just write a query uh, to get the some records uh, records uh, from a database. So let's select all all the records from uh, from table uh, this post table we don't have it but we need to create inside uh, our php pagination database so these are the some dummy content and we will create that post uh, uh, table inside a php my admin so it, uh, fir its first column is id then title of this uh, that post and the uh, last one is the description of the post and it's a data type is a text and its title is watcher and its length is 150 uh, characters and id is auto increment primary key and uh, all we have sa set it and then save after save uh, our post table has uh, ready to use uh, and uh, okay nice uh, but we need to insert some dummy content and we will get that co dummy content from lorem ipsum uh, so let's uh, type a lorem ipsum and lorem ipsum this is the first uh, just click on first link just copy this dummy content from this side and we need to store uh, that dummy content inside our database table so let's copy and paste some content and uh, this and goes so one content we have inserted so when you click um, on a you click on a post you can see this is our dummy content so let's copy uh, this uh, records uh, uh, two to four times I mean just so you can insert many many and many many more content so it will show in in your pagination page so let's copy all the records we have eight records and let's change uh, it's a it's a title of of our post post title what is desktop and next title is uh, next title is whatever you can type what is the game and what is the Android and what is whatever you can type it's a title it's not important you can put anything inside a uh, this title because we will show this title inside our pagination so that 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 should be a good for us what is India and next thing is what is uh, uh, you can type anything uh, right so this game de uh, developer good so what next thing we need to just refresh it's gone and uh, let's do uh, some more step to uh, to work nice uh, to work pagination uh, nicely so uh, so this is the query and the connection dollar connection and connection it's a query and query just pass this uh, variable inside this query uh, right 
and 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 then we need to get the all the records and a total rows how many uh, just we need to get the rows uh, uh, rows from our table so how many uh, rows uh, inside our table so it will num rows query and num rows it will give a total rows from a uh, table so the page uh, page rows uh, by default page rows uh, we want uh, three you can type four five six it means how many uh, records uh, uh, and how many rows you want from a, a table uh, to show in a pagination so I'm I want uh, three uh, so just type a three and just put it a seal it will uh, uh, it will uh, just uh, uh, seal as you know that 5.6 it will show a seven and 6.7 something like that if you have a decimal number it will uh, automatically increase uh, so seal will do for that so if uh, we need to put some condition it here if you are a page uh, I mean just uh, last means last page is one so it will it's last it's last page is uh, uh, less than one it will show uh, uh, if last uh, is uh, less than one it will show uh, last is one and and the page rows uh, uh, page num uh, it means page number is one right so next thing again we need to put some if and else condition uh, for uh, uh, filtering uh, some page in uh, I mean just uh, filtering the the data uh, so the page num page rows so dollar page num uh, is uh, greater uh, less than uh, less than one so it's a page num is one sorry so equals to one and semicolon as if put it another uh, as condition as if condition if the page num page num is greater than uh, page row sorry uh, dollar page uh, okay just greater than last page so page num is last right pretty simple and the next thing uh, next thing uh, we need to pagination control so pagination con pagination control uh, just uh, just oh, oh sorry uh, just we need to uh, write a query uh, write a query to get the all the records from uh, from a tables but we need to set the specific limit uh, using this way if the limit uh, uh, set the limit is page page num means page current page is one and pay one minus one uh, I means one minus one if current page is one and if current page is two automatically it will change page num page num uh, it's a minus one right and into page rows how many rows right how many rows so uh, this this will set the limit of the pagination this is here is the most important logic you need to remember that and the query select uh, uh, select all the records store means all all the records from the table uh, and the table is the post table p o s t s post table and uh, order by uh, we will order this table by the id which order by id order by id and set the okay it should uh, descending order we want and set the limit which we have created uh, this variable uh, right and the query uh, -E uh, query query is equals to connection dollar connection and call the this connection this is the object of the mysql i and call the query of Ma query method of mysql i and just uh, replay uh, just copy and paste this query uh, sorry just uh, sql just copy and paste it here sql so bam so uh, we are uh, uh, going well and uh, next thing uh, we need to uh, set the pagination control 
so pagination control uh, i mean just page out of page i mean just this one you have a total page is three and you are currently on a two page uh, that's a page uh, page out of or something like that you can create uh, any variable it here mm. so pages pages then a bold take uh, which is b take uh, b for bold and inside we want uh, that uh, limit i mean just number of pages dollar num a page num uh, it means it, it will show current page uh, 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 it means uh, it means your current page and then uh, total pages total pages is the last page last page is the total pages how many pages inside uh, you, in your table it will show using this page out of so let's echo this and it will so look like this you are you are in a first page and you have a total page is three so page one of three simple let us remove this one and uh, what we want next uh, next is the pagination control pagination control so pagination control uh, uh, which is this one uh, this is one two three how many pages and you can go to previous and next and when you go to last page uh, when you go to first page the uh, the next next button has stop so these are the code which we have copy and paste I will show you in a minute just just wait right I have copy and paste this code pagination control equals to single quotation and you can type uh, this code for pagination control it's a simple after that sim simple you can copy and paste that code and I will also give a link uh, to download this complete uh, zip uh, file of this uh, this tutorial so it's done so this is the pn variable and uh, pn variable uh, which is page number so if it is said we need to create a variable uh, we need to also uh, set the some logic uh, it here so dollar if is uh, sorry if is said dollar underscore gate and we have a variable which is the pn which is page number and we have a get this uh, variable from the pagination control so the page num is equals to a uh, uh, I'm typing a uh, regular expression uh, it here so preg replace uh, and it will replace uh, it means it will allow you to uh, type a number I mean just you uh, you uh, it allows you uh, just you you can enter only only numbers so this is the uh, the logic of a of, of a regular expression 0 to 9 you can just only type uh, only enter uh, only you can uh, navigate to a uh, numbers only a page um, it means a uh, uh, page 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 to 9 and many more and thousand and millions of pages just only numbers not any characters and not any special characters good so you can see so this thing this and this two things uh, we have done so next thing is uh, we will get the uh, all the post uh, from our table so this is a post list I am creating variable which is the post list and just now it's empty we will uh, put a while while loop uh, to get the all the post from the table so row dollar row equals to a dollar query and uh, page a s s o c at this variable uh, this method and uh, curly bracket and then we will get the all the uh, records of uh, of that post table so so dollar row and its id and uh, the title uh, title is the dollar a row a row and just put it a uh, title and just put it semicolon and the next thing is the description so that id title and uh, description is the same uh, it should match uh, to your uh, 
to your uh, uh, to your uh, to your database table which is the tit ID title and description so description let's copy this one uh, description and paste it here so all the uh, col column we have get, uh, got it from table so post list uh, uh, just uh, just concatenate this variable and then we need to put it a p a double quotation and put it p tag inside a p tag we will create a link uh, and we will get a uh, we will put a id title and description in this way so this is the link uh, hre app and then uh, single dot php this file is not uh, uh, is uh, it's not in our project but we will create in a minute so single.php let's copy this one and uh, and let's right click and create a new file which is a php file single.php let's remove this one and this file don't have any content uh, so we will create in the next part what we will show inside a single.php so don't worry about that id is equals to we will get this variable in a single dot php so id we will get that id in a single dot php so the id single quotation uh, i mean just dot dot and the id variable and you can simply type without dot dot it will also work id we have a get and then just okay just p just replace p to a div just p to a div so it will uh, nice uh, and uh, HTML validated, and then uh, a tag. Just you need to close it, and inside we will type a title of our all the posts. Post and uh, then, okay, just uh, wrap this title inside H3 and H4, whatever uh, heading level you want. So just I'm uh, uh, wrapping it inside S3 heading level three and its a title and uh, ne uh, next thing is uh, after uh, after s3 uh, we have uh, we will put a p tag and inside a p tag we will wrap a description of our all the post so control s for save and uh, this is description good so what next thing we need to uh, all all that uh, variables we will uh, put inside our uh, body tag so this is the html so just php tag and php tag should be closed php and php tag should be closed and let's copy this one uh, three times two times more php 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 and uh, okay so here is the some a little problem I will fix in a minute uh, so don't worry about that okay so let's fix it so what is the problem is uh, problem 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 okay I will fix it in a minute so don't worry about that so let's let's uh, let's copy this variable and just echo uh, that variable page out of and uh, okay okay pagination control and then pagination pagination okay post po post list which is this this post list and the post list is just echo it post list and uh, then the pagination control which is this one this variable you can uh, echo it echo just paste it Control S and save and then refresh. But it's still it have a problem. Uh, to fix it, uh, let's uh, go to uh, here. Just scroll up, and uh, problem is uh, uh, problem is uh, here. Uh, let's let's uh, space it here uh, near limit. When you when you space and refresh, it will work nice so it's perfect uh, and it's working nice and you can navigate to any pages you can previous you can next you can anything with that uh, previous next and these are the posts and it will go to a single dot php next next previous 
previous previous name so today we have a seen uh, PHP pagination in a sim simple way so if you like this video uh, please let me know what you think about my video so thanks for watching bye take care